Hello friends, this is Reckless Tempest, former Pro Tour Kaladesh player. Today I'm going to be trying out Historic for the first time with Mono Blue Tempo, a old standard favorite with some new goodies. Before we begin, please click the subscribe and bell button down below to get notified when I craft new bots. So, at its core, this is, you know, a Blue Tempo aggro deck, you know, that's in the name. And it mostly revolves around a curious obsession, placing it on a cheap one drop, and basically riding back to victory while using various counter spells to stop the opponent from going over the top of your 1-1 or 2-2 that draws you cards. Now, some of the big edition, actually this deck got a ton of big additions from new sets and being included in Historic. I think uh, C Dash Octopus is super important since it gives us 5 to 8 more Curious Obsession effects, essentially, and it's also just a reasonable flash threat by itself. Um, lately, Lofty uh, New Printing is Lofty Denial and Lookout's Dispersals are huge, huge upgrades. So Lofty Denial basically gives us a super mana leak uh, because this deck has a ton of flyers in it. it you know, Science Storm Tamer, Spectral Sailor, uh, Brazen Borrower. And Lookout's Dispersal also uh, is usually pretty cheap. We're playing less than four because our pirate count isn't high, and pirates tend to get turned into octopuses in this deck, and our pirates are. Again, Sandstorm Chaser, Spectral Sailor, and Brighthorn Brian Horn Cutthroat. It's a big basher, gets juicy as the game goes on. So, key cards outside of that are Brazen Borrower. It's just a super versatile card in blue. It lets us play a boomerang, but also lets us keep our threat count high. It's just it's a lock. I think it's an auto 4 of, and it maybe in some weird reality you'd go below it, but I think this card's great. And after this, we enter in kind of the oddball cards, or like maybe more flex slots. Some people play ops, some people don't. I decided to go up to 3, and it's mostly because I couldn't find room for the 4th. Uh, and people have different splits of Dive, Down, and Spell Pierce, and I think it's just preference, taste, and what matchups you want to own. I kind of like, I, I have a thing for beating a pump with white control decks, so that's why I'm playing more uh, spell pierces. And this is just like an experimental flux slot of in Hypnotic Sprite. I think the card has some um, potential, like, so it, it's just a solid counter spell, and it gives us an extra threat. We are kind of a little light on hard counters, so going up to 9 is pretty sweet. And next up is the sideboard. I went for... Actually, I'm gonna have to do this. Yeah, do it down here. So, yeah, the sideboard's uh, very... It's, it's more of a shmorgas board of cards I saw other people playing, and I just threw whatever I thought could be good and went from there. So we gotta dive down, just to increase our count. I'm trying out one Shadow Spirit to help race with aggro decks. It seems especially good with Brighthorn Cutthroat. Aether Gust, it's just because there's a lot of blue red decks in the for oh, not blue red, red green, like uh, Goblins, Gruul. I'm trying out one Cerulean Drake just to see how it fares against other decks. Uh, Disdainful Stroke is just a generic counter spell for big bombs. Negate, another kind of different generic counter spell. Surge Mare was something I really liked in its standard. It's just very good against, obviously not only three decks, but it's actually pretty good against things like White Weenie. By good, I mean playable, right? It can block almost anything, and it's actually a pretty good target for Curious Obsession if the, if the game ends up going there, so I want to try one out. Mystical, Mystical Disputes are like your classic, you know, blue decks are traditionally pretty good at magic to some degree. And yeah, we want some Mystical Disputes to own Mystical Disputes, and if people are playing Mystical Disputes, you need Mystical Disputes to beat their Mystical Disputes, so it forms an, forms an arm race. One our set part of Veils was just an alternate threat against Control. This could also be a search for his Kanto. And lastly, to Entrance Melodies, these are for aggro decks. I, in my limited experience with this format, I really like Entrance Melody. So, with this little rundown out of the way, let's get into the games. Stats one. Like, it kind of looked silly. Alright, after this, maybe I should cut Hypnotic Sprite. Let us... 
Let us mulligan. This is a much better key. This is actually one thing I really like about Runeterra. Is, um... The way champions work and how they're revealed. It's like you have an idea of what your opponent's deck does when you make your decisions. So we're gonna keep. Um... Yeah, we're just gonna bottom bar for it. Yeah, it's just like... I remember, I don't remember in the past the discrepancy between between both players being so wide, like... I don't know, QI kind of looked like an amateur. <laughs> I don't want to be too harsh. Like, for fuck's sake, he was down like 20 supply. I know marine supply gets really inflated, but it just looked so silly. This is a little risky. If they have a uh, disfigure, this, this is gonna not die. And maybe that's the case on why we should play uh, Dive Down instead. But they're playing the two mana removal spell, so we get the spell pierce it. Probably should have played my land after hitting. I, I was actually happy to see TY lose. I think, like, I think he's the worst GSL champion in recent history. <laughs> like, his run was so dumb. And, I don't know, he just seems like a s shitty cheeser. Like, even when he beat Dark, apparently Dark had wrist issues, so it's like, oh, good job. <laughs> You're great. But yeah, our opponent has two cards in hand, and we've countered everything. This is the good stuff, you know? This is the game plan. You just pull them down, draw more cards, feels good. Honestly, I don't know. I think this deck is such a meme that you're supposed to be playing Dive Down for the Spell Pierce. Speaking of which, I have no idea how to side. So Dispel's not legal in Historic, so I could have added Miscast to the deck. And I think Miscast is better than Spell Pierce against, um, like Mono Black, right? Just because owning Disfigure hard is good. <laughs> Nothing else is really worth it. What's that, an entrancing melody? They don't have instant speed threats, so as long as we don't expose the Sailor, they can't do anything, so they just spent their turn two doing nothing. We can't uh, spell pierce this, obviously. Um... I'm probably supposed to just play the second Curious Obsession, but this is like, kind of a hedge. Because I don't think Gatekeeper of Malakir is legal. Alright. This is why Brazen Borrower is fucked up. It's like, we get to play main deck Boomerang. And not have an anemic uh, threat density. Over. Speak of the devil. Yeah. 
Yes. Yes. Um, we will pass. We're probably taking this hit and going to make the game a little closer than it should be. Feeling good. Mm. We're not going to activate Castle, let's be real. Let's just do this now so we have to just. Just go to another spell. Alright, found Sereno. Yeah, so if they were, try to recast Obliterator, we'll probably yeah, just counter it. Mm. Oh, oh, we were punished. So this is one quirk with Octopus: is you lose pirates. Yeah, so we definitely should have discarded a spell. Um. Sin has a knife? Alright, fuck. Um... Double off, dude. <laughs> ah, this deck's so sweet. Sorcery, what is this? Alright, GG. Truly an even match. Hmm. I'm a I'm a Malvis. We're a little We don't have a curiosity effect. We're counter spells, and we're on the draw. Yeah, this sounds pretty See, the sun's way better. Actually, yeah, I think this is the this is the way.
Mm. I have two mana. I could be greedy and off, but we're going to keep up our spell fears. Keep up counter magic. They only have one card left. Don't give them an opening, just keep open mana. I might have to do the awkward thing of mutating onto Storm Tamer. That's probably better to diversify. Another spell bites the dust. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, that card's good. Hands like you have good cards. Yeah, let's just solve now. Pick for a counter. Um. We're putting all of our stuff here so that if they priest, we'll just sack sex, uh, uh, Spectral Sailor. Not Sexual Sailor, Spectral Sailor. land and counter spell. Um, yeah, that's fine. If they want a priest to kill a spectral sailor, that's fine. We will click the right thing. They're up to five mana. because they could have just paid with um, their floated black, so it wouldn't even stop them from playing a threat this turn. And we can play like that's dispersal because we sacrificed our pirate. Ugh. I don't feel so good. they attack. We get to cut something up. Get in there. Ooh, this thing's got a... Oh, it's not a knife, it's a fish. It's still a knife in my head lore. My head cannon. Um... Rip. 
Dixie Dasher was a good draw. Can't be salty. Not a good draw. My soft count just kind of suck now. But I think at this rate, we're... we need them to not have drawn the third. Playing the first form. Just the. Fuck. Right, so now we're slowly gonna get drained out. Games like this make me wish I had more than one Castle of Antris. And now we get to enjoy all the clicks. Why is the other side the not showcase version? This is bullshit. Strider, but I think we're gonna get catted out. Yeah, we should use our dispersal first. One, two, three. Yeah, they can pay for which is up and if we bounce it. I don't think there's anything worth bouncing right now. Oven. But until then, won't do anything. We're on a two turn clock? Since uh, Priests of Gone Gods can kill us. And if they draw their ninth land, our lofty denial's dead. Uh, we can't really counter this. I guess we could all. No, we couldn't even lofty denial and spell pierce. I'm just gonna concede here. We're gonna get uh, outcarded. 
have a trail of breadcrumbs because it's way too far behind. I wonder if pithing needle is legal. That's uh kind of a versatile. It is not legal. Needle could be a versatile answer for random stuff on the board. Let's see, I think I'll try a Shadow Spear. I'm kind of liking this random Shadow Spear on the board as a one of. Um... Actually, well, they kind of sucks. Normally, removal kind of sucks against this deck. What does Aethergust counter? Mayhem Devil, Trail, Claim. But I think we actually want Hypnotic Sprite for... Uh, some of the like trickier elements of the deck, and if we get dragged into late game. Like the fact that it can counter a lot of the good cards in the deck. Um, they're probably boarding it to like, bigger stuff, but... I think our two mana counters, or our three mana counters, are fine. Hmm. I think this is a mulligan. It has too many lands. We have a curiosity effect, though. It's a fairy, it's not a rogue. Yeah, the sense just a little anemic. Uh, keep. So basically, bottom bar, we try to assemble our curiosity train. Stitcher supply, that's cool. Uh, I think I should have bought that actually. Reinhorn is probably really, really bad against the stack. Ooh, Cerulean Drake actually would have been good, because it can't get claimed. Yeah, if we get to game three, I'll, I'll do that. Right, we're just gonna do one obsession. Smash. And probably just Storm Tamer. try this very miscreant, which maybe, maybe is correct, like having 12-1 um, drops is just so good. Ah, Spectral Sailor, the glue of the deck. Why can't we have more flying pirates? Oh, are we playing the mirror? Wow, 
Why would they tap out? Let's just resolve this uh, Brian Horn while they're tapped out. Alright, I think they missed their second line drop. They mulled. They mulled the keep on a six, and it was probably a turn one opt into lift. Um, they have Mystical Dispute. That's probably a good card against a deck with blue in it. Kappa. Uh, we're gonna be on the draw. Let's take Sprite out. Let's get a. Um, Melody. Yeah, let's do a melody. Yeah, good hand. Full body. the mirror. Right, at least this isn't Popper where they have Ninja of the D-Powers and it's like, oh no, please don't hit me. We don't have. They have three mana. We have three mana. We'll have to pay one to obsession. Like, if that brace and bar were... Um, let's just try to push it through. It's obviously not gonna work. But I think we wanna just tucker out as many counter spells from their hand as we can so we can try to land a, an enchanting melody. Okay. 
let's not do anything on our turn. Alright, let's try to bait. And if they attack here, that's kind of okay bait. Try to block here, maybe force him to tap some mana. That's good in this matchup, but I don't think it is. Uh, I guess we can just shave off since we've loaded the deck up more with relevant cards. but it's not going to go anywhere. We're not going to attack. So I guess I have a Brinehorn Cutthroat. No, nope, Spectral Sailor, that's fine. Everyone playing this deck now. Uh, is that true? It's kind of sweet. Like, uh... Silvercore sent it to me, and I was like, oh, this looks really cool. And it got me out of my not playing Magic, right? Yeah. Did this deck also make you um, quit Magic? 
So strong card. This might be loose. I think we kind of need to gather a few more resources to make a play. And roll. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just wiggle this in while they're tapped out. I didn't play the blue-green flash deck, but it looked cool. I think I played just mono blue and then blue red. I like how someone, you know, is like wrestled over a flash deck being good when Oko and Uro and Wilderness Reclamation and Fires of Invention have completely owned a, a standard in recent memory. I jumped to it because that was a dirty Oko play and they took it away. XD, exactly. Whoa. Flashback? You got it, my friend. You got it. We drew pretty well to get to this state. Like, now it kind of feels like we're in a game. We have game. We are gamers. Oh, you fool, you activated my trap card. Uh... What did you play in uh, Historic Jam and Gruel? Yeah, that sounds like you. The mana in this format kind of sucks, right? Like, playing two colors actually has a pretty significant cost relative to the speed of the monocolor decks. Can they pay for this? Rip. Fuck. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, like you're not guaranteed, like to hit all your colors. Yeah, holy crap, that would be... Or Pain Lands, right? Hmm, this is how we die. I should probably Storm, storm Tamer now. Do you play Emperor Cleave and Gruel? <laughs> what a manly number. Alright, so we're kinda lucky they didn't draw a card. I guess we want to block to minimize the clock. That makes sense, yeah, plus and beast thing. No, basically a standard deck. Oh yeah, we're super fun because of Storm Tamer. Yeah, I think that's the game. Ronus, yeah. Ronus should be massive for you, right? Like, that card's kind of... insane. <laughs> this sucks. 
I guess this is why you're supposed to play for um, Mystical Disputes. Is there's a good enough. What is there? Kind of goldfish is like an eighth of people playing this. Alright, let's, let's try to bait them. The boost APM is Spellbreaker, Bone Crusher, and it's okay right now. What about, um. Oh, yeah, yeah. Spellbreaker is the one I was thinking of. So here we want them to pay, and then we dispersal and we try to brazen. Brazen Borrower. Sometimes Clythos. Alright, they're just not biting. Alright, so we're probably gonna try to bounce a Curious Obsession then, if they're not gonna cooperate. True, fair points. Yeah, so they can't, um, Storm Chaser be bouncing over Curious Obsession because this only counters things that targets creatures, so we're targeting an aura. Probably just better because you really want the GR interaction. Unless you really want the GR. Yeah. Yeah, that card's just so. so good as a 2 of, you know. Like, it's an excellent 3 drop, it's a mana sink, it gives you pseudo evasion, it's unkillable. Like, I guess they're both good, right? Because. they kind of help your control matchup too. Alright, so all of our cards are countered. Sick. Alright, so if we can remove Storm Chaser... Can we get there? Yep, we have to draw pretty well on our turn. Now, now this is where something like a Mystical Dispute would come in handy. Whoa, you see the black fill only goes... doesn't fill the whole screen. What's up with that? Alright, we're fucking dead now. Ugh. G G. Alright, so that'll be the end of the spot. Um Oh no, we didn't do as well as I thought we would, but the deck definitely has some promise. You know, it's it's a pretty big meme with Curious Obsession and Octopus, you know, with one drops, counter spells, it's a uh, soul shot kiss. I think with better play, we could have won those matches, and yeah, next time we'll, you know, hopefully I'll have a better list, and we'll be high ranked, and I'll have more to show you. So, if you like the VOD, please like, share, subscribe. Click that subscribe button down below, it helps a lot, and see you soon. Bye!